हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द एनाटॉमी मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आस्ट मी सर वी डोंट नो अबाउट द टर्मिनोलॉजीज इन द एनाटॉमी सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड दैट आई विल डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द एनाटॉमी एंड वी विल स्टार्ट द एनाटॉमी विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एनाटॉमी सो एनाटॉमी इज द साइंस विच डील्स विद द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अवर ऑल ह्यूमन बॉडी means how our human body is or what it is made up of you can say a geography like the earth geography when we say it build up of mountains rivers that's like the anatomy is built up with the muscles bones arteries veins etc so actually the anatomy word comes from the anatom and the meaning of that is to cutting up cut up something but that cutting is just a technique in the anatomy uh, we uh, name is as a dissection is just a technique but the anatomy is the study of a structure of our body in the anatomy uh, we uh, having a different uh, 11 uh, uh, types we can uh, uh, study the anatomy means what are the approaches through which we can study the anatomy so you can say what are the components of the anatomy the first and the most important component is the cadaveric anatomy in which we study the dead bodies uh, someone uh, have donated some relatives donate the body then we do the embalming embalming through embalming means to insert the formalin into the body to preserve the body uh, mainly through the uh, common carotid artery or through the femoral artery we insert the formalin and then preserve the body and on the dissection table we cut the body and study the anatomy that is known as the cadaveric anatomy in the cadaveric anatomy there are also two types of study one is the that is known as the regional anatomy in which we uh, study the anatomy through the regions like lower limb upper limb lower limb means the lower limbs uh, you can say uh, our leg and uh, in the anatomy the leg just mean the uh, one uh, lower most part but we can say a uh, lower limb uh, upper limb uh, then thorax abdomen that's how in the particular region we study every bone muscles vessels nerves then it becomes the regional anatomy and the another way to study the anatomy is the systemic anatomy in the systemic anatomy what we do we study the all the muscles of the body in once or all the vessels of the body in once cardiovascular system all the bones of the body that is known as the systemic anatomy in india most of the part uh, uh, in the dissection room uh, uh, we study the anatomy through the regional anatomy uh, so it becomes somewhat easier for the students but if we are studying the anatomy through the software we can also uh, study the anatomy uh, through a system uh, systemic just like all system and we are studying that all system okay fine then another thing which is known as the living anatomy what is living anatomy so in this uh, we do inspection inspection to see the structure we uh, uh, make that part uh, visible and then we uh, see the structure uh, that is known as the inspection then we with the help of our palm we touch that part which is known as the palpation then uh, with the help of one finger and the another finger which is plexer pleximeter we put onto the body part of area and then we do the tapping tapping yeah into the middle part which is known as the percussion then with the help of the stethoscope we hear the uh, sounds which is known as the auscultation as well as uh, with the help of the uh, one uh, uh, optical fiber uh, camera light and seeing the uh, different parts of the body mostly the innermost part of the body uh, which is known as the endoscopy in the endoscopy if we are visualizing the trachea bronchus that is known as the bronchoscopy if we are visualizing the esophagus then the stomach then which is known as the gastroscopy as well as we can do electromyography uh, to muscle to study the muscular anatomy so this this is known as the living anatomy then what is known as the embryology the most important uh, part of the uh, anatomy is the embryology in embryology as we all know uh, when the human life start it is just one cell the mother and the father gametes meet and one cell and from the one cell the whole body is made up of then how this from the one cell to the whole human body is made up of the process the steps we study into the embryology which is also known as the developmental anatomy in which we study the developmental phases of the human body formation the fourth one is known as the histology 
histology uh, what we study it is also known as the microscopic anatomy in this what we do we uh, cut down the particular part of the body if say the skeletal muscle then cut down the skeletal muscle we do the HNE staining and then visualize that muscle see the parts of the muscle if we uh, cut down the bone and see the part or inside what is what it is made up of uh, instead of naked eye we see into the microscope in 10x 100x 45x then it becomes the histology and most probably in the histology world the world is a uh, pink and purple mostly we two types of pencils here are used pink and purple and the structures we see in the HNE staining the fifth component is the surface anatomy which is uh, we study in a uh, we put the dead body into the sunlight and the completely the body becomes dry and uh, some parts or in the living also uh, just by touching the part and I can say okay yes this is uh, known as the ole crenono process the lowermost part okay fine this is uh, known as the frontal bone just we with the help of the points with the help of the points connecting we study the anatomy that is known as the surface anatomy just like most important here brachial artery passing from where to where from one point second point connect the point and we just uh, uh, describe the structure uh, that is known as the surface anatomy which is also known as the topographic anatomy which is very much helpful in the palpation also then the sixth one is the radiographic anatomy and the different branches also their radiology branch in which uh, with the help of the chest x-ray uh, CT scan MRI we uh, look at the structure of our body which is known as the imaging uh, anatomy also you can also tell it as a radiographic anatomy after the invention of the CT MRI the this radiological anatomy has uh, uh, done miracles okay then there is a comparative anatomy is also there in which we uh, study the anatomy of the animals also and we compare it with the human anatomy and how the humans uh, body structure is developed we uh, create the hypothesis from there uh, okay fine so that's a comparative anatomy uh, we compare it with the animals then uh, comes the physical anthropology what we see into the physical anthropology we see just external features and measurement of different races group of people and study the uh, prehistoric remains means uh, uh, asian races uh, uh, american races we study their uh, external features measurement and uh, then we uh, try to compare them so that we can uh, study the evolution process in this uh, beautiful diagram that how the human has started from that monkey and then a complete study and right now uh, we are all in this world of technology sitting down looking at mobile phones or uh, laptops that is also one part of the evaluation then ninth component is the applied anatomy which is a clinical anatomy and uh, right now the national medical nmc bill also mostly in the medical education now the most of the component going to become is a clinical anatomy means uh, the application of that anatomical knowledge to the medical as well as the surgical practice so uh, we can say clinical anatomy we can study by retrograde also aspect also means we give some disease and now for that disease development what exact components of anatomies are required and we study that anatomy only in the surgery uh, surgeons also required to study the anatomy in very deep orthopedics yes radiologist okay so the anatomy which is very much useful into the clinical practice that is known as the applied anatomy and in any uh, short note or in any topic to focus on the applied anatomy is very much necessary then comes the experimental anatomy in which we just study the factors which influence and determine the form structure and function of the different part of our body so we can say it becomes mainly the component of the physiology but also yeah it is a, a how it changes the body structure then it also becomes the part of the experimental anatomy and then the genetic the 11th component of the anatomy in which we study the information present into our chromosomes actually we can say uh, these all 11 components are the uh, parts of the anatomy we study them uh, uh, more or little so most important cadaveric anatomy then comes the surface anatomy living anatomy histology embryology uh, then uh, radiological anatomy then uh, comparative anatomy physical anthropology applied anatomy experimental anatomy and the uh, genetics